Today I'm going to be filming a haul video and it's all stuff that I've gotten these past two weeks either forever21.com or yesterday they went out, I went out shopping with my mom so that was really fun and that's mostly all this like where all the things came from yesterday and yeah so you're gonna have to excuse my voice right now I'm a little under the weather still so another week because I still like on that cycle where you have to get worse first before you start getting better so, funny story. Okay, whatever. I'm not even going to say that. This is just a headband from Forever 21, and I just thought it was really cute because it lays flat on your hair, so you don't have to, you know, like, I don't really like headbands that stick out. I also got this belt yesterday. This is from Charlotte Russe. It's just a red belt. Cinch up the waist. Especially if you have um, a lot of cardigans. Those are really good. And this is from Forever 21. It's a really pretty owl necklace. I love it. And that's usually how I describe things. I say everything's pretty and cute. And I say a lot of ants and umps because I don't know why. Start off, I got this shirt as well yesterday. And this one's from Fashion Gal. And it's just a really pretty top that looks like this. Then it has like a little elastic here, so it kind of cinches up at the waist, and it looks like a disco ball. And I've seen a lot, a lot of um, bat wing shirts lately, so I have a few, but this is probably like the only one kind of like a bat wing. This is just a bigger sleeve. So, yeah. Right, so, from Buffalo Exchange, I picked up this American Apparel bathing suit. And I'm not going to use it as a bathing suit because I'm not really a big fan of a one piece. So the reason I got this one was just because I have a lot of skirts and I like to wear skirts with my shirts tucked in. So this one will look really nice and sleek and it's not going to look all bulky. And I also got this um, shirt. It kind of looks like the 70s. It's really pretty. It's more to sleep in but I would totally rock this to school. I do not care. I would wear this. If you don't have big breasts, maybe you're like a B cup or something like that, and you want to kind of make your boobs appear a little bit bigger, go for shirts that have a V-neck cut, because that tends to make your breasts look a little big, and it accentuates them the best. It's from Forever 21, and it was about maybe like four bucks. It's really cheap, so it's good to layer them. Then this one is from Forever 21 as well. This one, um... If you see my blog post that I my last one right now, I'm wearing this shirt. But you can't really see it, but this is the one I'm wearing. It's really pretty. It's leopard and it's black, so it's kind of like metallic-y. So it's more of a dressy shirt than a casual shirt. But I take this to school already. Super cute. Then I have this like dark red, just kind of like a long sweater cardigan type of thing it's really really heavy but it's great to keep you warm and you can find this one at forever 21 as well and it's good to just pair it up with some boots and just kind of layer layer yourself up especially if you live in a place where it gets really really cold right now in LA in Cal Southern California in general it, the only time it's cold really is in the mornings but noon time starts getting a little hot and so right now like big jackets they're not really necessary. I guess until winter comes along. Alright, so this is a jumpsuit from Forever, uh, yeah, Heritage 81, Forever 21, and the reason I like this one is because it has a pant leg of a harem pant. So it's kind of like bulky at the top and then it kind of slims down at the, um, at your leg. And it has really pretty ruffles at the front. It's strapless. And it's really dressy. The material would be more for a dressy occasion than just to take it out for school. But I'm just saying, you know, you don't have to do what I say. I'm just saying. <laughs> then this is a really cute vest that I got from Heritage 81. And it has a detachable hood. So if you're not into the hood, you can just use the vest by itself. And it's kind of like a dark gray um, denim wash. And... Still, like, I don't know, I just like it because you can detach the hood. It has some little buttons here, so. But I really like the whole hooded look with the vest, so that's a good one. Then this one is from Heritage 81 as well, and it's just a simple knitted sweater. This one is from 
a fashion gal in Oxnard, or you can find it. You can find it in downtown LA because that's usually where they keep. That's where they get all this stuff. So if I say fashion gal, don't be discouraged. Don't be like, oh my god, there's only one store. I'm never ever gonna be able to find it. Everything is distributed by downtown LA. All those little shops down there, they have the same thing. So I'm pretty sure you can find it somewhere else. And this is just a dark purple with like a beige tone stripes. And it's just a cardigan. They're special. And this is really cute. My sister Wendy and I got the same shirt. So this is a bat wing shirt like I was talking about. You have the bat wing. And it has really nice detailing. And it's a really beautiful color. Kind of like tightens up here at the waist. And it has the appearance of a scarf. Kind of just drops down like that. Or if you want to show a little back, you can tuck it into the back instead. Just wear it like that with some necklaces. And then you can show a little bit of back and it looks kind of cute. Um, then I also got this cardigan. It's just a simple um, kind of like a, I don't know, it's not white. Wow, I look dark. But it's really, really soft and I love it. It's so soft. I can't wait to wear that one. Now this shirt is really cute. It's a little different. It has some studs at the sides and it just kind of drips down here. I'm not really a big fan of shirts that kind of like just drip like this one. But this one was a... I kind of just said F it and got it. And then it has a gray sh like spaghetti strap underneath. It's kind of squared and then tines up here. Usually when I have shirts like this, I just kind of tuck it in into my jeans and it's just kind of like a bubble, bubble shirt. And this is just a black jacket. Just kind of spice up, spice up, <laughs> to spice up any outfit. And this is more of a vintage shirt, which is why I love it. So cute. I love the lacing around the neck. Super cute. And then it's kind of like a high neck. So you just button it up. And this shirt is just kind of like a zebra print in white. And it's see-through, so you're going to have to wear a shirt underneath this. Or if you don't, then that's cool. Kind of scrunched up. Stark brown. Looks like that. It's very, very feminine. And then this one is more vintage looking. This is from Fashion Gal as well. And my mom got one like this, but in a darker color. And... I got the vest, kind of like a military inspired vest, but it looks a little older, kind of plaid, and I got it so I can pair it up with this underneath, and you have more of a vintage looking outfit. And this is my favorite splurge item. This is um, just a jacket, and it's hot pink, and it has zippers all the way across. And I just think it's really cute for a hot pink leather jacket. And then I got a simple skirt. It's just a simple brown skirt to go with the other outfit. And this is a DKNY jeans blazer. And it's just really into blazers. So if you go to like Buffalo Exchange, you can find so many blazers and they're a really good deal. So I found this DKNY blazer. And then I also found this um, Isabella and Nina kind of like shoulder pad. This is just kind of like a little jacket and it looks very 70s, late 60s so I love it. I'm just going to revamp it and do something with it because it has a major shoulder pad so you have like broad shoulders. Follow my blog, you've seen this scarf already. This is from the Buffalo Exchange and it looks like that. It's really really warm. It's 100% um, cotton so it's pretty light but it keeps you warm. I also found this um, silk scarf. I was really really lucky. I kind of got it. I didn't even know it was 100% silk and I was like this feels a little different. It doesn't really feel like the scarves that I typically typically get and the pattern is a little different too. So this one's already on my blog. It looks like that. It's from Buffalo Exchange as well. And I also got this circle scarf from Heritage 81. And then I got a bunch of leggings from Forever 21. 
Um, I got these sequins leggings, kind of like the BB ones, and then I got this crazy abstract patterns all over, and then these zebra ones. Alright, so for purses, here we have a messenger bag from um, Forever 21, and you just open it up and it has a little handle here as well, so you can just carry it like a messenger bag, or you can just grab it by... The handle on top right here. It's from um, Buffalo Exchange. It's a really pretty vintage purse. The only thing is that it's missing like the button to close it down so I'm gonna have to find like a lock or something but it's really cute. That's the whole reason why I love shopping like even at a thrift store or Buffalo Exchange because they have really pretty unique purses like this one. It has a really unique shape I love the chain to close it. It's kind of like it expands on the side so you can fit a lot of stuff inside. And this is just really unique. It looks really super old. It has a handle here and then it has a strap. So you can just carry it on your side. And it just looks really, really vintage and I love that. Alright, so for shoes, I got these um, Charles Albert flats from Buffalo Exchange. And it has really nice studded and it's kind of like a plaid, like a schoolgirl plaid inside, in sole. Super cute. Everything is super cute. These are from Forever 21. I fell in love with these biker boots. Like, I just had to have these. I saw them and I had to get them. They're super comfy because of the sole. It has like a work boot sole to it and it's just super comfy. You wouldn't believe how comfy these are. With a big old heel like this. And... They kind of just strap up here and they have straps on the side. But the good thing about these boots is they have a zipper. So you don't ever have to worry about strapping up your boots. And they have really nice animal print inside. They just make everything look nicer. These are to go out. I'm actually planning on wearing these with my Thanksgiving outfit. So really pretty studded booties. And I love them. These are also another pair of my favorite shoes. These are some heels, booties, and they have a, you zip it up through the back. The only thing is that I'm a size 6 and every shoe that is size 6, size six that I ordered from Forever 21 has fit me except these babies. Like they fit me but they're a little too tight. They're super cute. They're cut out and they also have them in a different color but I went for this color instead. Then I got these flats from Forever 21, which is really pretty. It looks like they were um, all gold at one point, and then the gold just started falling out, so they look all black, almost. If you know what I mean, but this is actually how they come, because that's what they're trying to imitate. So, that pretty much completes the haul video, I believe. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will stay... What? I am so sick. I don't know what I'm saying.